because obviously the human body has a unique way of telling us what's right and what's not. And one way it sends messages is through different smells. And we have an email from Trish in Boston. And this is an interesting question. She writes, dear doctors, my roommate stinks. I love her to death, but no matter how many times she showers, she always manages to be a little on the stinky side. I've also noticed the same smell at her parents' house. Is this a genetic thing or what? Please help. And believe it or not, body odor could be her parents' fault. It could be genetic, a study says, in some situations. That is right. <laughs> That's that, really that unfortunate. In, in some people, oh, yeah. it's a genetic right. thing that you're lacking a certain enzyme to neutralize byproducts of certain foods. And what you do, you have too, too much trimethylamine or trimethyl amuria mm -hmm. is the name of the condition that you have too much TMA in your system that gives you that unique odor. That trimethylamine is actually produced in your body if you're eating foods rich in choline, things like liver, eggs, salt water, fish. So if, you, if, you have, if you're eating a lot of these foods and you have that gene that prevents you from for how the, the TMA to build up, then no matter how many showers you take, you're going to have that odor. So, so you can actually change some of your dietary you know, just try habits to cut and back see what on Some of this stuff, and uh, you know, if the odor goes away, great. And if it doesn't, maybe time to get a new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time with us guys, we stink because we're sweating. We haven't showered in a few days, though. Yeah, but not I, like I'm, this. And the bacteria is loving it. <laughs>